Welcome everybody to the last episode of the first season, obviously only. <laughs> the last episode of the first season of Pro Cycling Manager 2017. And yeah, we have two races still to go and that is our first race will be the Edstil Pro Classic. It's a mountain race and it's a category 1.1 race. So a pretty tough one with probably a lot of good riders and a really really intense profile 211.3 kilometers that will be awesome and afterwards we will have one day after already Ljubljana Zagreb a 1.2 classic and that might be pretty interesting for us so these two races upcoming and we directly go into the Earth's type pro classic unfortunately we didn't manage to get a fitness peak uh, we are at 93 points but yeah there was was just not possible for us because um and yeah, we can here have a look at the fitness peak again 93 points we didn't have enough races in the preparation that was the problem uh, but still we get plus plus one on the forecast because of um the objective we set this as an objective and that's why we get plus one and if we have a look at the favorites there are some guys with 78 mountain Davide Formolo we have Patrick Conrad with 75 mountain Mark Soler with 78 mountain so really really tough opponents and uh, let's see what is our objective and what we can do um, yeah as you can see here a lot of virtual teams movie star Aji Desire FDG and Quickstep are the for and Sky is attending as well. Uh, so quite a few were two teams in that as type pure classic in Austria. And yeah, we can here see the favorites again. Uh, Michael Woods from Canon Day, Canon Day also in it, uh, Dimension Data is in it, so quite a bunch of virtual two teams. Uh, next to that race is also the Vuelta a España at the moment, so all the riders with the fitness peak should be in Vuelta a España. But still, let's see what we can do and what is our objective, our goal. And we have free element and we shall go in a breakaway. We are one, plus one on the day. I don't want to go on a breakaway, I really want to go for the GC in this. Um, but it might not be the worst idea to go on a breakaway and then and uh, try to get a good pace up this steep climb and this steep climb um, we might we could actually wait in the peloton and maybe if the pace is low uh, escape at this climb to get the breakaway objective uh, there's one rider in the breakaway right now I don't want to follow one rider because that's too much effort on my own shoulders so no one is really attacking and yeah I'm not following one rider no way but that means that the pace will be quite low uh, let's have a look at the race strategy of the other guys so we have three guys with Barodeur and four guys with teammate unfortunately no one is protecting me even though I'm the best at this uh, my race day condition is also plus one so it is exactly what the forecast was and we have 74 mountain 74 hill even though well the hills that doesn't really matter at these steep climbs they are all orange and red they are pretty long yeah let's see let's see what we can do maybe we can uh, let's just see so we are up the first mountain pretty soon. We didn't lose any energy. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have control ab about any of uh, our teammates. That's why uh, we cannot control when they are getting water for us. And hopefully when the first people drop, maybe we get a teammate who will protect us afterwards. I don't even know why my whole team is in the front. That doesn't, that doesn't really make any sense. Uh, but still, yeah, the, the breakaway rider has five and a half minutes, but there's no way he's going to survive this. He's also only 64 mountain, 65 hill, and we are now in the in the kind of flat part of the race. Um, 
just surviving this and if the tempo is still pretty low at these climbs uh, we might try to attack on these climbs yeah we are now at the at the Brenner pass which is like it is a categorized climb it seems but yeah as you can see here it's quite flat like the middle part is super flat in between and then yeah there's a small orange part in the end uh, you also see here 2.3% average because like this part in the middle is yeah you, you can't count this as a climb but after the Brenner puzzle the real race starts and then we will see what we can do so 94 kilometers to go to the finish line oh there how, how are there five rider breakaway now I didn't even get that they attacked I should have followed the attack But yeah, let's let's just have a look. Uh, we might attack at the bottom of the next climb already, if the pace is not too high. Uh, we'll see whether we can get a gap. Our green bar looks pretty good, and we should we should be able to close the gap to the front group fairly easy. Um, but. I think they are pacing way too high. I'm, I mean, I'm doing 85 right now, but actually the climb is that long. I don't want to pace more than 80. And yeah, the the pace is quite quite decent at the moment in the peloton. Uh, they are catching up to the breakaway, so we just stick in the peloton until the pace slows down. And if the pace does not slow down, we just stay in the peloton. Uh, you can see our yellow is going down super fast. Um, the tempo is really, really high. Uh, we caught the breakaway. There's only one rider remaining at the moment. Ooh, and I'm out of water. And this is a huge problem. Because my whole team will drop fairly soon. At this pace, even I will drop fairly soon. I mean, I'm out of yellow pretty soon. What are they doing? Good that I did not attack. By the way, who's that guy in E1 who can hold it? Oh, still the guy from the from the first breakaway. Yeah, I think now they reduced a little bit of tempo. We could attack over the top. Somehow our water got refilled, even so our teammates were just empty. But yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not attacking over the top. I just uh, try to recover energy in the downhill and see how we can do. Actually, I should have attacked because the tempo is super slow right now. But yeah, now it's too late. We're going into the downhill part and we are the only remaining team member of our uh, in the peloton of our team so last climb and in the last climb at least in the top part I would try to do my own tempo uh, if my yellow uh, if the yellow goes down too quick then definitely because as you can see this is a super long climb it's 23.8 kilometers and it's 7% average slope so uh, we really don't want to pace more than 75 on this so that our yellow doesn't go down too early um, I don't mind dropping a little bit in the field uh, yes but their tempo is they have a tremendous tempo at the moment with Riblon, Betiol uh, if we have a look at him, he has 71 mountain, he's pacing a lot right now. They are pacing maybe for the... Who's the captain? Oh, Michael Woods, yes, indeed. So, he has 76 mountain. And our, our goal now is actually to try and get like maybe top 10, maybe top 15. let's see so the peloton is still pretty huge with 95 riders I mean this is 
There's still a strong Peloton. Uh, but on the other hand, that's pretty good for us. Uh, we should go down to 70, by the way. Uh, otherwise, we will just go, go out of out of energy. I mean, they will be there. They will drop a lot of riders. I mean, we are dropping right now, but we catch a lot of uh, a lot of riders later on again. So that's that's actually quite fine. See, now they reduced the tempo a bit again, and with with uh, pacing 70, we we go back to the front again. Which is which is quite fine. So back back to the front. Um, we might go up to 75 soon again. We'll see how our yellow evolves. But I think we we stick at 70 pace right now. I'm a little bit worried about our water because the climb is still pretty pretty long. And we somehow need to get water, but not on an 80 rider peloton and not on the climb. Because when we drop back to get water now, we will never come back. I would rather go out of water then. So the first part of the climb is done. We are now in the flat part, uh, here in the middle. So the first 10 kilometers are over. Still 70 riders in the peloton, which is quite huge. Um, we are regenerating yellow energy right now. Uh, because the pace is just not high. Actually, look at this pace. I mean, I'm I'm pacing 70, and I I might I might go attack soon. If they oh now now Koren is in front. He keeps up the pace again. Uh, we go up to 75 again, and. We just pace at our own pace at 75. We dot now. Uh, at 75, we should arrive at the top of the climb without any problems. We could even go 78, I think. Uh, this climb is just yeah, a little bit to go. Ooh, no one really pacing. Let's try to attack. It's also a good way to get water, <laughs> just to take. And they are not pacing. We we get a we get a gap. We get a gap. And they are not pacing in the peloton. That that means that's pretty good for us. If they keep keep down the pace that low, you can actually win this win the race. Uh, going down to 75 now, so I'm not running out of energy at the top of the climb. Uh, but I think we had a good good point of attacking. We didn't lose any red bar, and even if we even if they catch us again, um, this attack was pretty good to be honest. And we even need to go down to 70, uh, just just because yeah you don't, you you just don't want to run out of energy. Uh, they are closing the gap, but they are closing it slowly. In the downhill part, we can increase our pace to 85 again. Um, yeah, looks looks pretty pretty nice right now, to be honest. Uh, let's. Okay, we we need to go down to 65. Um, yeah, now the now the big favorites are increasing their tempo. Um, but that's fine actually. Wow, the peloton caught us again. Um, but they are not pacing that much. Oh, they are. We, we somehow need to survive in the first group. We just need to survive in the first group. Come on. Ooh. I think we are still in the first group. Yes. Okay, we are still in the 15 rider peloton. We have no energy left, but it's fine.
Oh, they keep it. They they go on attacking now, but we cannot follow this attack. We need to, we need to survive until here. Come on. Eighty-five. You can do it. Oh, forward field now, and we are in A1. But that's fine, I think. I hope they can catch up, because on the sprint we can maybe win. I hope someone is pacing. We survived the climb, that's pretty good. Okay, energy gear, 7k to go. Man, you need to pace more, guys. Need to pace a little bit higher. I don't want to fight for the fifth place. I want to fight for the victory. We are in the flat part right now. Oh wow. Okay, we couldn't catch them uh, anymore, but I think for a 1.1 race we did pretty good. Oh my god, our sprint start is so bad, we cannot even sprint. I mean, I was in a super position for the sprint, and I was second last in the group. Which is... Ah, I was in a really, really good sprint position. Uh, but anyway, that was a great race. So let's wait for the tail enders to come into the into the finish. So that that attack on this climb saved us a lot uh, because we got a gap of one minute and then we could set our own pace at a at a lower pace and that's why we are even we were even in the group. Otherwise we would have been dropped before already. Uh, you can see like oh why is there only X2? You can see there are a lot of a lot of groups in that race, pretty tough, classic. But yes, I'm I'm pretty happy. That was that was quite okay, except for the sprint at the end. I thought we can do better in the sprint. Like 61 sprint is not enough. We need more. I hope we get some experience for top 15, but I doubt that kind of. Uh, we don't get experience for the breakaway. Let's let's have a look at the other way. That's Prince. That's 64, 62, 67, also 61. I don't know. I should have done better. Well, okay, they are they are all good sprinters as well, except for Quasina and Boswell. But yeah, we were we were kind of the lowest on the sprint. Only winner Anna Kona's behind us, also with 61 sprint. But look, he's 77 mountain. Yeah, zero points of experience. I should have just went in a breakaway. <laughs> I was in a breakaway. I tried. I attacked at the mountain. They just got me. <laughs> uh, I couldn't attack at the first one because the tempo was just too high. Uh, but still, sometimes you just want to try your, your shot at at the stage standings or the classic standings instead of trying to go and fulfill your objectives. So second race and the last race of the uh, of the season will be Ljubljana Zagreb. That's a pretty cool race and I lost that. Oh my god, my freshness is only very good. Uh, I won that race a couple of times already on other pro cyclist careers. Mm, that's a pretty cool race for the for the end of the season. Unfortunately, no fitness peak. Uh, you rather want to have a fitness peak there, but yeah, it's a it's super steep ending, uh, like t ten percent. It's I think it's black in the end, and yeah, we are one of the favorites in this stage today. Unfortunately, because of the extra pro classic, our freshness is not that good, but that's that's totally fine. Uh, very good, just uh, okay. So, 
Also no virtual teams in this. And we are minus two on the day. But our objective is finish in the top three. And that's what we are trying to do. Minus two on the day means uh, mountain stats still fine, hill stats still fine, acceleration still fine. These are the stats that matter the most. Oh, it's not even it's not even black. I was lying. It's only red and orange. Um, it's a it's a little bit tricky this kind of uh, hill finishes in the end because it's kinda it's only a little bit hilly before, but. Uh, there's kind of a long flat before the ending that means every rider has a lot of yellow energy and it's only about the red bar and it's super hard to control the red bar um, but I I say that again what I said or said already in the, in the past in such finishes don't ever press the sprint button that's the biggest advice I can give to you if you want to sprint set your pace to 99 but never hit the sprint button because your red bar degrades way faster when you hit the sprint button instead of just pacing 99 uh, what you want to do you want to be in the front when you enter the climb you want to follow attacks and then you want to pace 99 at the end and try to drop the guys uh, the other thing what you can do is you immediately attack at the bottom of the climb and hope to hold uh, until the end. Uh, that kind of works as well if the pace is not too high. Um, I think that's that's the way I won it the first time. I just attacked at the bottom and then I paced uh, 85 up the mountain which which works as well. So there are, there are multiple tactics uh, but the major issue is don't care about your yellow bar. Your yellow bar is never an issue in such short climbs. Try to manage your red bar and try to have your energy gear ready and try to be the first when entering the climb. Don't be in the back of the peloton or in the middle of the peloton or even in my position now. This is too far behind. You, when you wanna, when you're entering this climb, you wanna be in the first position. That's really, really, really important. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the race. We have a breakaway of two riders. Uh, they are currently two and a half minutes ahead. Uh, not that big of a deal. Uh, I think we will catch them. Even at the last climb we will get like over a minute. So that's that's really fine. Um, we have one helper, C. Hutz, who is 66 on hill. Why do I have no water? Get me some freaking water in house. Alright. Uh, Freienstein, okay, you will help me. You are my protector, Mr. Freienstein. He is 71 on here, that's why he's protecting me. Yeah, I mean, my yellow bar is a little bit down, but it's not too much of an issue, to be honest. But like, this, this whole yellow bar is enough for the last climb. So that's totally fine. We are in the final 20k of the race now. Uh, energy gear is a is a good question here as well. Usually use it at I think 3k to go. That might be too late. Um, 4k to go. Yeah, I think 3k to go is fine. 7k is too early. 5k is too early. Uh, between 4 and 3k to go, you want to use your energy gear. Or when, when you, actually when you attack at the bottom of the climb, you want to have like, uh, you want to use, use it now already. So you want to use it at 7k if you want to attack at the bottom of the climb. If you want to sprint, you use it just now, like 4k to go is fine. Oh, and I'm in a bad position, what, what I just said. Try to enter this in front and I messed up. Um, I did not enter this in front, and they are they are sprinting already. So yeah, just just manage your red bar. Ninety five now, one point five k to go. Uh, 
going back to 90. No, 95 is fine. And once your red is empty, you can sprint, but I'm not winning the stage. Antunes is. Um, they are all out of out of red bar. Uh, Quasina might overtake me. But yeah, it's it's again the position on the climb. Oh my god, he he overtook me. Uh, the position at the entrance of the climb is super important, and I was too far behind because I was just sleeping. Um, but still. Yeah, against Antunas it might might would have been hard anyway. But yeah, P3 we did it. We did P3 and yeah, we never hit the sprint button. We hit the sprint button when our red was empty. Yeah, should have maybe attacked at the bottom of the climb. Would have been maybe a little bit better. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, he had a he had a quite big gap, and if you look at his stats, it's it's not a, it's not I'm I'm not wondering that he won the stage with 75 mountain. Uh, Quasina actually has the same stats as I do, uh, or like around the same stats. Also Chilano, so P3 is quite fine. We did good. We got 15 experience, and that was it. Yeah, <laughs> we have fitness peak in two days, but we have no more race to come. That was it. Ljubljana Zagreb was the last race of the season. And that was episode number, I think, 17 episodes for this. And the next episode will start in January again. I will simulate all the way up to January. We don't have a level up in between. We don't have any races in between. So you don't miss anything. Uh, thanks for following me through the first season. That was, I enjoyed that quite a lot. Now we have the fitness peak, but yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, and then next season we are at Cofidis, and let's see what we can do there. I'm, I, uh, I want to have a look at one one minor thing at the end, uh, the results. Whether we are going into the World Tour or not, at the moment it looks like we are not going into the World Tour. Kofidis is third on the Continental Tour. Fortunero is second, but there are still a lot of points in the Vuelta, so we might have to wait after Vuelta. Uh, I think I'm going to fast forward in the video to the end of the season and then we can have a look again at this. So yeah, I'm fast forwarding to October and uh, then we have a look again at the results. Yeah, back on October the 17th. So nothing has changed in the Continental Ranking. Direct Energy is still in front of Fortuneo Oscaro. Coffee Dis is third, so we will join a Continental Pro team for the next season. Um, well, in the World Tour standing, it's Coffee Dis who is second. I'm, I'm not sure which standing matters, so that's why we need to simulate two days or three days, and then we will see. Ah, it must be any moment. Usually at the end of October, there is... Uh, yeah, generation of young riders and new day and I think we should see now maybe one more day. Oh, okay. The co uh, apparently the world tour standing counts, so we are in a world tour team for the next season. Here you can see our new colors. We are in the jersey of Kofidis and we are riding the world tour. With Coffee Solutions Credit. So yeah, you can you can see our team already. Uh there are a bunch of riders and we are just average at the moment. We are at, even in the bottom half. So we have a one year contract, but if we look at the attributes, we are the second best climber. So for the for the mountain stages we will be there. And we will do good. Well, there are some climbers with 74 overall, but 
Yeah, they are just. Oh, I, I actually need to display the starting attributes. Okay, now it looks a little bit, <laughs> a little bit different. So we are the fifth best climber. Uh, I wasn't displaying starting attributes. Uh, just the current ones, because their fitness is already pretty low. But yeah, there are a, f a few climbers that are slightly better than we are. Um, but still, that's fine. We will progress through the next season, and we will we will get better. So yes, that's it for the first season. Uh, I hope you tune in for season number two when we rock the world tour. We first have to win an HC race, to be honest, before we can even attend to world tour. But yeah, tune in again then, and the next season will start in January, and then we will ride for Cofidis some nice races. Have a nice day.